episode. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw this cute little DIY cartoon pencil. And now this was created by Mei Yu and her channel is fun to draw. You should really check her out. She makes awesome cartoons and I love her so much. So yeah, you should really check her channel out. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make this cute little pencil. And um, right after this I'm going to show you the materials you will need. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the materials that you need is something to lean on. I'm just using this wide ruled composition notebook and a piece of paper, some pencils or something, maybe something to go out to like outline it. And yeah, that's basically it. So um, let's just get started with the tutorial. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so all we're going to do is we are going to get started. We're going to start off by just drawing two straight lines, not too big or long. Depends on how big you want your cute little pencil to be. I'm going to do about there, like that. Okay, now I'm going to make the, I'm going to make like a line going in the pencil, I guess for the like the top, we're gonna curve it like that. It's not perfectly straight, it is just curved a smidge. Now we are going to do one more right above it. Just make sure that it's not too thick. And just saying, this doesn't have to be perfect, no drawing is perfect, right? Not even if you're. Vincent van Gogh, not even if you're the most famous artist out there. So it should look like that, something like that. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Okay, the next step, we are just going to connect these two lines together that we just made. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect them like, like so. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the upper line. I'm going to curve it like, like sort of like this. I'm just going to sort of curve it down-ish. Now, I know all my lines aren't super straight or anything, which is okay because we're going to outline it after. I'm going to do that. Right now we are going to do a line like that. It just makes it kind of shiny. It just makes the eraser part kind of shiny. <clears throat> okay, so now we are going to make sure that these two lines are pretty even. And then we are going to bring it down like a triangle. Just like so. Just like that. Okay, now that we have that, we are going to make the little squiggly lines right there. Alright, so I will go ahead and I will make the lines. Now, I sort of messed mine up. Like, mine aren't perfect at all, and that's how I wanted mine, because... It all depends. They can be pointy, something like that. Now I'm just going to make my triangle a little bit bigger and a little bit like thicker. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. A little pointier as well. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fix this up real quick. So I'll be right back. I got it all fixed up. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just do this right here. I'm just going to make the line, which makes it look like a pencil tip. And just colored in the color of the pencil because that's what a pencil is. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to scribble that. That way it looks like it has been, someone has drawn with it. Now let's move on to the face. This is what it looks like so far. So now we're going to move on to the face. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the eyes, which I think is the trickiest part. Okay, so, well, first I think we should do the little mouth. 
So we are going to make a smile, a quite big smile, like that. Now we are going to do something that looks like that. Now we are going to make a mark that sort of looks like a tongue and color the outside of the tongue it was supposed to reckon, which is supposed to represent the other part of the mouth. So now I think that we can move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, we're just going to start off by making, now I'm gonna have cute little small eyes, like that. And now the other one is going to be the same thing. Cute little small ones. Now, these aren't nearly as bigger as these ones because I made this one thicker than this one because I wanted it to be a little bit thinner. I'm going to go make it thicker, a little bit thicker, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I fixed it a little bit, so now the eyes are going to be bigger. Okay. I'm sorry that I don't have the best, like, camera view. I think this is better than it was before. Yeah, now we are going to start and we are going to bring the cute eye up like that. We are going to make a little leaf shape. Something like that. And there should be, on the right side, there should be a little point more sticking out. Now from that point, we are going to make something like this. And we're going to color it in black. Sorry, that was a little racist, but we're going to color that in black. And we are going to go over it with our black Sharpie marker after. So it's fine. Now we're going to make another like line that's going to represent the inside of the eye. Going to go over the outside. That way it's a little more like... Um, we can see it more. Now I'm going to draw an oval shape that looks like that. I'm going to draw a line about halfway through like the pupil part. I'm going to color it in just like that. Now we're going to draw big lines and then they're going to get smaller as they go down more. So that one eye should look like that. Now the second eye is a little bit different. So I'm just gonna get on to the second eye now. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing and start off by making cute little leaf shape. And the same thing again, the right side is going to be a little bit more like bigger than the right side, it's going to be pointed. Then once again, we're going to bring it like this. We're going to color it in. And then we're going to make a pop just by outlining that. Now I did it a little bit too close, so I'm just going to go over that again. And then like that, like so, or I guess I can say. I don't know. But yeah, then I'm going to draw our oval. All right. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to just do half of it again, color it in. And this is smaller than the other one, then I'm going to do the same thing. And then this one's a little smaller than this one, but that's okay. So this is how our cute little pencil slip looks so far. Okay, now we can make the cute little pink cheeks. It's just two ovals under the eyes, like that. Now for the eyebrows. They go into the pencil line right here, so they just point. And then, like that. Something cute like that. And then, same with the other one. I'm just gonna. That's a little too close. You wanna try to get it under the eye a little bit, I guess. I'm gonna do it there, that way it just like doesn't sort of. Okay. It's in a fine position there. Okay, no, it's not. It's gonna erase it as much as I can. Okay, so. Just 
like that. No, the left one's bigger than the right one because no one has perfect eyebrows. But, but yeah. Okay, so now for the next, next step, we are going to draw the lines in the pencil, which gives it the realistic pencil look. So we are going to really, you can really do this however you want. All right, we're just going to make some lines here. Some nice big ones, some medium size, small, a little bigger, and uh, I guess medium, small one. Can make that one a little bit bigger. Yeah, so that's how my cute little pencil is. Okay, so I guess I'm done with this how-to tutorial. And I hope you guys really like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and rate this video. Please make sure that you comment down below what video you want to do next. And I didn't get any comments down below saying which video I should do. So I'm like, why not draw something? Why not like do a drawing tutorial? And I decided to draw this cute little cartoon pencil. So, yeah. I guess I will see you in my next episode. Com oh, yeah. Give this video a thumbs up for a morning routine. So, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.